city of Taylor recently passed an ordinance on the unlawful restraint of animals. Animal Control Supervisor Sandy Perillo explains how it works. The ordinance will prohibit dogs being tied up on chains, period. There will be no more chains allowed. They also will no longer be able to be tied up to a stationary object. A lot of people I know have inside dogs. They have a stake in the yard, chain them up for about 10, 15 minutes outside to go potty and then bring them back in. That's still allowed under the new law as long as you stay out there with them. It also addresses shelter, which is something that the law has never done. Uh, they have to have an adequate shelter, which allows them enough room to stand up, turn around, lay down. It cannot be sitting out in the middle of the hot sun. The opening can't be facing the north wind in the winter time where the wind's blowing in. It can't be sitting in a puddle of water. It has to be able to protect them from any weather, the heat, the freezing, uh, rain. They will have to be on a cable run. The cable that you have them hooked to the run with, because by law, they have to have at least 10 foot or five times the length of the dog from the tip of its nose to the base of its tail. But the cable that you have them hooked to the run with does not have to be that long, provided that their running cable gives them at least 10 foot uh, radius of uh, room to move around. If they are found in violation, it, they will be cited and they will be fined. Once the new ordinance takes effect, I have made copies of the new ordinance and as I'm out and about, when I come across dogs that are on chains or tied up to stationary objects, you know, I'm leaving copies of the new ordinance. I will not automatically be cited. I will, if you're in violation, I will give you a warning and give you 24 hours to correct it. If it's not corrected, then yes, I will start signing.